Let's go back in time with one of Gibraltar's oldest monuments, the Moorish Castle. I'm international master Tanya Sachte bringing you our features from the Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival. Welcome to the day's play. Four players in the lead with six and a half points. It's the French face-off on board one with Vacher against Bakro and David plays Hare Krishna. The chess festival is an open tournament and a big platform for all competitors to play alongside and against higher ranked opponents. On paper, statistically, odds might favour the player with a higher rating. But in sports, these are just numbers. The result depends on how one plays on a given day. This makes the tournament very unpredictable. Until now, we've had many such matchups, and the results have gone to prove that in chess, anything can happen. The day's play brings you the winners who have shown that often the odds don't favour the player, but rather the play. I started like training one kid, nine-year-old kid in my country in Israel, and uh, the first, like one of the first rules I taught him is that you should uh, never offer draws unless it's like a dead position. Well, sometimes when you play the super elite players, there really is nothing to prepare for because they have 50 years experience. I think it's almost easier in a way to play them because you don't have any pressure. You can just give it your best, you can throw everything at them. And this way, um, when you play for a win all the time, um, you know, position may become complicated and so on, and to play for a win all, on, in all cases can make you, you know, become a real champion. Most important to have a fresh head, so maybe not prepared too much opening. And also you should uh, believe in yourself. Too many people try and change their style when they're playing much higher rated players, change their openings. It happens quite a lot. We've seen, for example, Avishi lost and uh, the opponent didn't want any draw, he just played on. Uh, I preferred uh, a lot against Vichy. He, he don't play uh, many openings, so it was a quite uh, a quick preparation. I mean, he was playing the position and the position is slightly better, so why not play? I mean, that's very important not to, not to go for the draw. Because he could at any point force a draw, of course, I mean, at any point in the game, but he didn't want to. Right. He simply didn't care that Vichy was sitting there. They know how to get to you psychologically, even in losing positions. And you have to, even when sometimes he makes the moves, boom, you just, my friend told me, take a minute every time he makes a move to just take a step back. Look for the weaknesses in your opponents. Play. I, this is a very basic bit of advice. Look for the type of positions that they don't enjoy and go for it. Even if you, it's not your natural way of playing yourself. You know, sometimes people, they have a, a set repertoire and they like to stick to their own repertoire. But actually you should be looking to cause discomfort for your opponents. And that's a very good piece of advice on absolutely any level. We're in the final leg of the chess festival. Two rounds to go, there's everything to play for. We'll be back tomorrow with all our newsmakers. See you, same time, same place. <laughs>